So even before Samsung got the chance to show off the Galaxy S24 FE, we've already got an unboxing video leak revealing all the details about the phone and what's in the box. Plus we've learned a bit about the price and chipset and well, you might not be too thrilled. What's up guys, Sal here. So first up, let's talk about that unboxing video. Samsung usually drops their official unboxing clips after a product is launched. But this time we've got an early look and it reveals quite a few interesting details. So just like in 2024 fashion, the S24 FE won't come with a charger in the box. Shocker, right? Instead, you'll get the essentials like a USB-C cable, some documentation, a SIM tool, and of course, the phone itself. It's pretty much what you've come to expect in the post-charger era. Now let's talk about the color options because that's one of the highlights of the video. Samsung is bringing a variety of finishes including blue, graphite, gray, mint, and yellow. The video gives us a nice close-up look at each one and if you're someone who likes a bit of flair with your device, there's probably something here for you. Moving on to the specs, between the unboxing and other leaks, we've got a solid idea of what's inside. For cameras, there's a 50 megapixel main shooter, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and an 8 megapixel telephoto with 3x optical zoom. On the front, you've got a 10 megapixel selfie camera. Samsung's also added this new Pro Visual Engine that's supposed to make your night shots look better than on the past FE models. So low light photos should be good. The display's also got a nice upgrade. The S24 FE will have a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED with a 120Hz refresh rate making it the biggest FE phone ever and it will be coated with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus protection. Plus, the peak brightness is bumping to 1900 nits from 1400 on its predecessor, which means it will be easier to see your screen outdoors. The battery is getting a boost to up to 4700 mAh, more than last year's model. Now, here's where things get interesting, the chipset. Unlike the flagship models, the S24 FE will have the Exynos 2400E, a slightly underclocked version of the regular Exynos 2400. And in a surprising twist, the US version will also get the Exynos chip. That's a first in almost a decade. No Snapdragon variant this time, which is kind of big deal. Maybe it's because of the crazy price tag on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Speaking of prices, here's the part you might not like. You think with Samsung using their own Exynos chip and a downclocked one at that, it would make the phone cheaper, right? Well, not really. According to OnLeaks, the S24 FE will start at $649 in the US, which is $20 more than the S23 FE. So $650 for the 128GB model, and if you want the 256GB version, that will cost you $709. Overall, the S24 FE looks like a decent mid-range option, but it's not exactly as budget-friendly as you'd expect, especially with that Exynos 2400e. It's got some solid features, but whether or not the price hike is worth it will come down to how well that chip performs in the real world. Now, if you want the latest on the S25+, Plus, including a first look, click right here and I'll see you there.